Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So I got up this morning and thought, what a perfect day for pulling down some widow maker trees. Then I looked outside and it had snowed two inches. <laughs> and it's actually 15 degrees, so if my speech is a little blurred, sorry about that. But um, I'm here anyway, so let's get started pulling down some trees. There's something to be said about a guy that pulls down trees in the snow, and that's stupid. <laughs> Here's our first tree. Um, so this is our first tree. It goes up here. There's kind of a crack in the middle of it here, so I'm questioning if maybe it's just going to break in half and fall down, but stuck in the tree up there. So I'm just going to try and anchor over here, I believe, so I can get away from this thing and see what happens. All right, there's tree one. As expected, it did snap the tree in half with the cable. Left some there. Sadly though, it left that piece hanging up there. So still as dangerous as having this whole thing laying here. I'll probably just cut that out with the saw. Tree number two. This guy is just a little one. And it looks like it's just the limb of this bigger tree that's dead, sadly, that has fallen out and landed right here. But if it fell, it would still hurt. So here's my anchor tree, pulley, and the Widowmaker. All right, here is this little widow maker tree. Not very big, but still enough to kill you if it fell on you. Our next two trees are right here. They have fallen off of this big tree a long time ago. So there's one right here, and then it's actually leaning on another one over there. So those are our next two. Time to pull this one down. Anchor tree here have the pulley there and the tree up here. So I kind of predict this one either is going to snap in half where I've got the cable or it's going to pull it loose from the bottom. So let's find out. I just wanted to show you the upgrade I made on my system. Before I was trying to get this hook through here in the back side of this because it wouldn't fit into this hook. So I went and purchased a little piece of chain um, for both ends and that really has improved my ability to connect the pulley to the steel rope. And it happens on both ends. So, much better than it was before. Alright, it's lunchtime, so we'll take down that last tree in just a bit. 15 degrees out, and almond butter is still as runny as ever. But it tastes so good. Well, after closer inspection of the last Widowmaker tree here, I found that it is not really a Widowmaker. Well, could be. <laughs> But it's still attached to the ground, so this is more of a job for a chainsaw than a winch cable. But since I don't want to end having only done a couple trees, I'm going to attach the cable to this old dead stump here and just pull it out. <laughs> for pulling down this old dead tree up here, got it. Steel rope attached to that side, pretty high up. Pulley system, and then anchor tree. So, judging the distance here, I am far enough away from the tree, so when it does fall, it's gonna fall in 
this direction and I'll be over here. That's the plan. All right, pretty good calculation. Stupid factor, let's say 9.5, <laughs> but uh, not too bad. Well, I guess this concludes the Widowmaker pull down episode, or whatever this is. <laughs> Probably just a blog post. But um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'm sure there'll be more videos like this whenever trees become available. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye. So, we'll get down that bleh, red. Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. It's bright.